Hi everybody, welcome to the art tour off the beaten track for Berlin. Now, what happens is in this tour we get to see a lot of the art in Berlin, okay, and a lot of the street art, there's a lot of there's going on in the city, there's quite a bit of art in the city. Now behind you here, the first part is we have Alto Veit. Now apparently he was like an Oscar Schindler. What he did was he actually would bring blind and deaf Jews into work in his shoe shop and they would make brushes for his shoes. Now some of them eventually were caught and some actually managed to escape to the Americas. So he was a bit of a Oscar Schindler. Now you can see there's more art down here. You can see how it goes down here. Go over down this wall here. Okay. And it goes down there. Now over here, you can have a little more of it down here. And on that wall right there, apparently, this is to bring awareness to supposedly there were 43 Mexicans who were abducted with a bus and were never found again. So they wanted to bring awareness to that. Okay, so that's the beginning of the art tour. Talk soon. Hi everybody, continuing the tour of the same courtyard. Now this is actually in the Mitte part of Berlin. And the thing about this place is that it's one of the few parts that were not gentrified. So it's one of the few parts where you can see all this art in a little courtyard. Now here we have behind us a memorial to Anna Frank, who as we all know was one of the uh, the young Jewesses who at the age of 16 was killed in Amsterdam. So this is a little memorial to her and her story. Okay, talk soon. Hi everybody, here we are a little further down the courtyard. Now here's a place where people actually come and drink at night and there's actually a cinema here. Okay, and here we have the little archway here. Talk soon. Hi folks, as we leave the Mitte area, let's look up here. Look at all the art we have on the wall there. It goes all the way back here, and then on this side as well. So there's quite a bit here. Already continuing the art tour, now, as you can see the background here, we have what's called the gallery. Now, this is an old part of the Berlin Wall that they decided not to knock down. Now, what happened was in 1990, they decided to invite 118 artists from 21 countries to come over here and paint their art on the wall to show all different topics, whether it be health, history, politics, love, you name it. Anything you think of, you can probably find on this wall. Now, look down here. It starts over here. It goes way down there. Okay? And then it continues. It'll break the wall here because it goes way down here. All the way down here. And it's interesting that they would actually have all this art on what used to be a symbol of division. Now, in a minute, we're going to go close up. Alrighty, here's one example of art here. Now, as you can see what it says right here, how is God? She's black. Now, this is about a black German lesbian who was attacked in the Berlin Underground in April 1990. Now, what happened was, after the unification occurred, what happened was, these attacks on gays and lesbians actually increased. So, this is all I do is to show what happened here. Okay, talk soon. Alrighty, we're continuing through the gallery. Now, it says right here, learn what freedom is, don't you forget it. Now, what happened was, what they were saying, is that after the Berlin Wall came down, the East Germans were liberated, so now they can actually see the world right here. Because you see, back in the time of East Germany, they were not allowed to visit countries that were not communist countries, but now they can see the world. So that's what this art is saying. Talk soon. Alright, we're continuing the art tour. Now here we are, the Uber Baum Brücke. Now, on the background right here, we have something with the art right here. The hand right there. Now it's supposed to be like Rock, paper, and scissors. Now, depending how it's lit up at night, it could be this, this, or this. Okay, and that sort of shows the idea because back in those days, this was the Soviet uh, East German side, and this was the American side right here. We have one right here. Right here. So essentially, it could have been this, it could have been this, or this, or this, or anything. So that was the whole idea of that art to show we don't know what's going to go on. Talk soon. Alrighty, here we are continuing the art tour. Now, behind we have the wall known as the Pink Man. Now, there are apparently two interpretations. Let's have a look up there, okay? You can see it's like a man made of all these little humans. Now, the whole idea was to say that two possible interpretations within the time of the Nazism, what they were trying to do was they were trying to brainwash all these people into the Nazi ideology. Yeah, you can see that one man on the top there in the white who's a... Uh, Opposing them. What they say is that he was opposing the Nazi ideology and they're thinking that he either might get brainwashed eventually or be killed off by the Nazis. So that's one possible interpretation, but in the last 10 years there's been another way of interpreting this. Apparently in the last 10 years, Berlin has become the Silicon Valley of the European Union. So as a result, while it used to be really cheap, the prices have really skyrocketed. So many of the people who lived here were forced to move away because it was too expensive so they moved to the outskirts. So what they're essentially saying is that all these people are being swallowed up. 
by that big monster because they can no longer afford to live here. Okay, so there you go. Alright, we're going to continue the arc tour. Now behind us we have some art that brings to light what's going on in the world right now. It's what's going on with the war in Ukraine. Now, the first mural shows young kids fleeing the Ukraine with their pets. You can see some with their cats. And the other one shows the actual war itself. You've got artillery, you've got tanks, you've got buildings blown up, blown up and whatnot. Now I should mention that the main reason of showing this was that in the beginning of the war for the first couple weeks, you'd have 10,000 refugees a day showing up at train stations from the Ukraine. So that says a lot right there. Now if you look up there, you can see the first one there has children with their cats. And if it's never at the top, and then over there, it has the actual war and the artillery and the buildings being blown up. And it says again. So there you go. They want to say never again. Hi everybody, we are concluding the art tour of Berlin. Now here we are on one of the bridges for the trains. You can see you've got some graffiti here or art. You take your pick. What do you think this is? Okay, so as I said before, in a lot of cases, the artists say, a turn an age queen any which way you please. Okay, so now there's a lot more art in Berlin than this. We've shown the main parts. So once you come down and check it out, you will not be disappointed.